Hello everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. We're looking at Acts chapter 2, it's May the 13th, and this is my password for today. Now my password is not so much a particular phrase, but a particular point, okay? Um, we're in, chap in, in chapter 2, it says, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all together in one place, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting, and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each one of them. Now when we're reading passages like this, often we just go straight on into the next sentence or the next verse without realising that there might be a break between the thinking of verse um, 3 and verse 4. You see, up to verse 3, it occurs in the upper room where all the disciples are gathered together and the Holy Spirit comes into the world and it comes into the church, the whole of the church, and they are they are um, baptised by the Lord Jesus into the Holy Spirit. So they now constitute the church. The church now is born as it were, on the day of Pentecost. Then in verse 4, um, now in the English translation it says, and they were filled with the Holy Spirit. Now, the filling of the Holy Spirit was always something related to service. And it was always related either to evangelistic service or pastoral ministry. So verse 4 then is not referring to what happened in the upper room. Verse 4 is what happened in the streets of Jerusalem and we read it they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance the question we might ask is why were they speaking in different languages that's the word tongues well because in verse 5 Luke explains that there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews devout men out of every nation under heaven so these are Jews but they've come back from the nations in which they live 12 nations in particular and they're in Jerusalem for the feast of Pentecost and they're in Jerusalem for the feast of Pentecost and what the apostles are able to do the 12 apostles that is is they're able to communicate the wonderful message of salvation in the Lord Jesus and they do it in the languages of each of these 12 nations. And it explains that. It says, now that when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because every man heard them speak in his own language. So each of the 12 nations are in the crowd, but they hear one of the apostles one by one, each of them has an opportunity to minister to a particular nation group and they minister to them the wonderful words of God but they do so in their native language. Now this is the point, they're speaking in their native language and it will read on and they were all amazed and marveled saying to one another, behold are not all those which speak Galileans? So how hear we every man in our own language wherein we were born? They were Parthians, Medes, Elamites, dwellers of Mesopotamia, in Judea and Cappadocia, in Pontius and Asia, Phrygia, Pamphylia, in Egypt, and in the parts of Libya, about Cyrene, and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes. So this was a vast evangelistic outburst. They were telling them the wonderful words of God. It says... We do hear them speak in our languages the wonderful works of God. And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying to one another, What meaneth this? And others mocking said, These men are full of new wine. Of course, there was no, no new wine at all. This was the Holy Spirit doing a ministry in the life of each of these 12 apostles to enable them to reach these 12 representative nations and they were able to reach them in their own individual language so there was no gobbledygook and there was no ecstatic speaking this was real communication
They heard them speaking their own language, the language in which they were born, and they heard them speak the wonderful works of God. So that's Pentecost. That's what happens on the Pente in the day of Pentecost. Certain things happen in the upper room. It's the it's the rushing mighty wind and, and, and it's the tongues of fire upon their heads. But in the street, what they had is the communication of this, of the wonderful works of God in the languages of the 12 nations. And of course, there were 12 apostles preaching. And so this dovetails perfectly. Um, and this really explains for now the day of Pentecost, of course, Peter's going to stand up tomorrow and he's going to explain the whole thing. But for now, we have this wonderful incident, the speaking of the languages of the 12 nations of the world. Amen. God bless you. Look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye for now.